hello first of all i welcome all of you to my youtube channel today i'm going to do a new assignment for you the name of this assignment is excel exp22 excel chapter 1 mid level 2 sales but before starting this assignment i am professional if you want me to do this assignment or do this complete course for you then you can contact me on my whatsapp or my email address given below in the description box i am professional if you want me to do other assignment of word excel powerpoint assess math stat business math finance accounting writing technical writing all these things then you can contact me on my whatsapp or my email address given below in the description box so here first of all we will look at the project descriptions let me zoom it out you own a small real estate company in indiana poles you track the real estate properties you list for clients you want to analyze the sales of selected properties yesterday you had prepared a work workbook with a worksheet for recent sales data and another worksheet listing several properties you listed you want to calculate the number of days that the house were on the market and their sale percentages of the list price in one situation of the house were involved in biddings war between two families that I really wanted the house therefore the price exceeded the list price so this is our project description let's move to step number 1 <coughs> in step number 1 it is saying start excel download and open the file name exp22 excel chapter 1 ml2 sales grader has automatically added your last name so this assignment is basically consist of 22 points here i am going to solve half of this assignment for you if you want me to solve this complete assignment then you can contact me on my whatsapp or my email address uh, in first step it is saying start excel download and open the file name exp22 excel chapter 1 mid level 2 sales creator has automatically added your last name so here this is our assignment student last name is at the start of this assignment let me open it so this is our assignment file so it is saying uh, let's move to step number 2 in step number 2 it is saying the owner of house of the house on the 640 north oak drivers drive took their house off the market you want to delete that t since it is not it did not sell uh, uh sorry in the april worksheet delete row 10 which is in complete sale data so here it's row number 10 you can see there is the data is not completed date listed but date sold and list price sold price are not there so we will select this row then and we will just right click on it and select delete so it will be deleted next we will move to step number 3 but before starting step number 3 i am professional if you want me to do this assignment or do this complete course then you can contact me on my whatsapp or my email address given below in the description box it is saying the list the listings are organized by the date listed the 973 east melbury lane listing needs to be moved up in the list cut the row 13 containing 973 east melbury lane insert cut it cell on row tell uh, row 10 existing data moved down so here we will this is row 13 so we will cut it just right click on it and cut and then we will just move that to what it is saying in which row it should be in row 10 so we will select row 10 and right click on it and select insert cut cell so it this will move the uh, remaining cells bottom of the screen now we will move to step number 4 but before starting step number 4 I am professional if you want me to do this assignment or do this complete course then you can contact me on my whatsapp or my email address given below in the description box i will solve out this complete course for you it is saying you want to assign property id to each listing the code will have the year 2022 with its sequential number type 2024-001 in A5 and use autofill to complete the ID properties from A6 to A13. So here we will type 
2024-001 so it is written now i will select uh, um, uh, the cell a5 and we will i will click at the bottom point where appearing at the bottom right just double click on it so this series will be uh, automatically filled next we will move to step number five but before starting step number five i am professional if you want me to do this assignment or do this complete course for you then you can contact me on my whatsapp or my email address given below in the description box it is saying real estate agents study the number of days house are on the market in some cases the longer the house is on market it might increase the asking price is too high so enter a formula in cell c5 that calculate the number of days the first house was on the market by subtracting the date listed from the date sold copy the formula so here here is the cell c5 so here uh, what we have to do subtract the date listed from date sold so here we will press equal sign sorry here we will press equal sign uh, sorry yeah equal sign date sold minus date listed so the first house on is for 90 to 91 days so we'll just copy this formula downwards so it will show us for how many days the houses are on the market next we will move to step number six but before starting step number six i am professional if you want me to do this assignment or do this complete course then you can contact me on my whatsapp or my email address given below in the description box next in step number six it is saying monetary values look better when they are formatted to display display the dollar signs because all monetary values are the whole numbers you will decrease the decimal points to avoid columns where there's where all ends with dash zero, uh, point zero zero Format the list price and sold price in the list F5 to G13 with accounting number format with zero decimal places. So here I will select from F5 to G13 and for accounting number, applying accounting number format, we will move to home tab and on the home tab in the numbers here is the accounting number or you can just select from here but I will select it. As you can see there are two decimal places so here I will select it uh, in this is for increasing decimal place and this is for decreasing decimal places I will decrease is two time so this will be decreased next we will move to step number seven but before starting step number seven I am professional if you want me to do this assignment or do this complete course then you can contact me on my whatsapp or my email address given below in the description box next it is saying to analyze the real estate market it's helpful to calculate the selling price at the percentage of the list price price for example the first house has house was listed for 350000 but it is sold for 303500 therefore the sale percentage is 95% of the list price so enter a formula in cell h5 that calculates the sale percentage of the list price for the first house by dividing uh, dividing the sold price by the listing price so here we have to divide the sold price by list price so here we have to sold price divided by list price press enter so it is saying copy the formula so i will just select at the bottom and double click so this formula is copied next we will move to step number eight but before starting step number eight i am professional if you want me to do this assignment or do this complete course for you then you can contact me on my whatsapp or my email address given below in the description box it is saying the calculated percentages needed 
needed to be formatted with percentage sample rather than displaying the values as a raw number format the values in h5 to h13 percentage with two decimal places so first we will select from h5 to h13 this is selected now and next we have to apply apply percentage for this we will go to on the home tab here is the numbers format we will select percentage as you can see these there are no decimal places so i will click here one and two times so this will display as uh, so this will uh, there will be two decimal places with is as it is set next we will move to step number nine but before starting step number nine i am professional if you want me to do this assignment or do this complete course then you can contact me on my whatsapp or my email address given below in the description box it is saying currently the labels on row four are harder to read you will wrap the headings within this e cell to improve readability center horizontally and wrap the heading in a4 to h4 so here we will select from a4 to h4 this is selected now for wrap text you will go to home tab and in alignment here is the option of wrap text and next here we will select center horizontally so these are wrap and center horizontally next is the step number 10 this assignment is consist of 22 points so here i am going to uh, here i am going to do the uh, 11 to 12 points for you it is saying for better sequences of the column you want to display stays on market after the two columns containing insert a new row a new column between date sold and list columns move the days on the market column to the blank column by moving the range c6 to f6 so here i will select column e and here i will uh, sorry i will select column f and here what it is saying let me make it uh, it is saying insert a new column between date sold and late uh, uh, list price so here i will select date sold and here i will select insert in new column so new column is inserted next it is saying what it is saying it is saying uh, sorry the column needed to be inserted after so here i will click on uh, list price and here I will select insert columns next it is saying so here we will we will select this cut and here we will select paste and then I will just select column C and delete this so it has been done now next is the point number 11 in point number 11 let me make it zoom for you you notice that the list containing a wrong date that needed to be corrected edit these date sold of 41 christians just tent circle house to 422 so here here i will 422 so this is uh, sorry 4 uh date sold sorry uh, let me make it correct four four what it is saying 422 so here i will select the 422 so this is done now next is the point number 12 it is saying increasing the height of the row of the data and centering the data vertically between the top and the bottom cell margin will make it get easier set the width of uh, set set the uh, select the properties of row 5 to 13 set the 25 row height apply middle alignment so this is our step number 12 
next if you want me to solve this complete assignment for you then you can contact me on my whatsapp or my email address given below in the description box i will solve out this complete assignment for you at a reasonable price thanks for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel good